Welcome again to another video of PCB Heaven Tech Labs. Today we will demonstrate a very efficient and yet extremely easy to make micro stepping controller for hybrid two phase unipolar stepper motors. If you are not familiar to any of the terms that I just used to describe the motor and the controller, then I suggest you read the theory and see the video that I have for these stepper motors. The term microstepping is the key to this circuit. With microstepping, we can make the stepper to rotate extremely slow and extremely smooth. The one that you see right now has 200 steps per revolution. Using microstepping, I can further divide each step into 16 pulses, thus making this motor to rotate in 3200 steps. The circuit is based on the Sanyo STK672 stepper controller series hybrid chips. I currently use the Dash 080 that can drive up to 2.8 amperes per coil. As you see, this chip is pretty much everything that you need to make the sophisticated controller. A few resistors and two capacitors are also used. You can visit our website to see how it's connect. Now let's see it in action. The chip requires a pulsing signal to operate. I use my homemade function generator to supply the signal and I also buffer the signal using a NIPINI transistor. You can use of course any kind of pulse generator like an stable multivibrator using the 555 timer and in this case if you power the 555 with 5 volts, the transistor can be totally omitted. The speed of the motor depends on the frequency of the pulses. Higher frequency will result in higher speed. Moreover, the rotation direction of the motor can change with a single wire. If the input 10 of the chip is 1, it rotates clockwise while if this input is zero, it rotates counterclockwise. This controller can operate in five different excitation methods, full step, half step, and three different micro-stepping excitations. Right now, I use the 16 steps micro-stepping excitation. Although the motor torque is significantly decreased compared to full and half step excitations, it can rotate extremely smooth. Notice how smooth it rotates right now. By changing the frequency of the pulses, you see that the speed of the motor is changed. That's all about it. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to visit our website for more interesting projects.